Good morning, everybody. Actually, afternoon. Well, not quite afternoon. We're verging on afternoon. It's like 11.30, and I just uh, am taking a walk around break from work today. Um, it's been a really busy, <laughs> busy morning this morning. Um, it is Monday. Um, and I'm super excited to be filming because I did not touch my camera. I did not even touch my phone a whole lot all weekend long um, from Friday to Monday because I just wanted to disconnect and just kind of relax and do some self-care and some me time. And that's what I did. And it was amazing. Uh, but we're back up and running. It's Monday. Steven is upstairs working. I am down here in the dining room working. And that's what's been going on. Um, quick update for the house happened this weekend. Steven and I purchased this bar cart. Now, it just looks like a cluttered mess right now because I'm still waiting for stuff to come in um, to style it. But uh, we wanted like an adult bar cart for the dining room. Also, this dining room set is super traditional. I do have like the more modern black chairs but the accessories are pretty modern, like the mirror and the artwork. So I wanted to tie in something that was a little bit more modern and also tie in more black because of the black chairs and the black mirror and the light fixture. So I found this one and it is so nice. Steven put it together, I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all the glasses there or store them in the built-in hutch in the kitchen, but yeah, this isn't styled. Like, I just have all the things that I bought for it there, and I'm still waiting for a few more to arrive, and then I will clear it off, and I will style it all. But, um, yeah, we're going to have, like, an adult official bar cart here um, in the dining room. And I even bought some recipe books to learn how to make drinks, because I have absolutely no clue how to do that. But, yeah, that was one of the fun little, like, house projects that happened this weekend. I'm still really enjoying my digital planner. So this was today and I did like a teal theme and I just love that I can like Google image. So I Google image these little tassels. This was like a background that I just trimmed down to like a washi tape size. I can't wait to show you all the little ticks, ticks, <laughs> the little tips and tricks I am learning as I do this, but I love it. I love that I can change up my theme every day. So here was my Memorial Day theme. I just, I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. This is my meal plan for this week. We're gonna have balsamic mustard pork chops for dinner this evening and some Brussels sprouts. Oh wait, no, I'm making broccoli with those. Where am I? Where was I? Why did I buy Brussels sprouts? I don't know why I bought Brussels sprouts. I thought I needed them for something. Um, yeah, so this is today, and I'm just like slowly working through. I have a lot of like work time today, and that's great because I have some tasks to get done. Okay, I am going to clean up my uh, email right before I eat some lunch and make some lunch, but uh, we'll catch up during lunch. I am just going to make a buffalo chicken salad for lunch. I had this chicken breast um, shredded. I've just been keeping chicken breast shredded in my um, refrigerator, so now I just threw it in a pan to heat through with some hot sauce. I'm gonna get a big bowl of greens, add some celery, and that's gonna be lunch. I am prepping dinner because it has to cook in the slow cooker, and I am making pork, fork tender balsamic mustard pork chops, um, and it's from the Fed and Fit cookbook, one of my favorites. I've made this recipe before, it's amazing. And I'm just gonna cook it for about six hours on low in the slow cooker, but right now I'm just searing off the pork chops so that they're ready to go. Three minutes on each side, just get like a good crust on them. And then have some onion chopped up, it's one yellow onion, and then I'm gonna throw that in the pan, saute it, add some mustard, some balsamic vinegar, make like a sauce, dump it over, let it cook. But um, this is, I'll tell you my friends, this is my go-to kitchen gadget. I've now had it for, hmm, it's probably going on six or seven years, if not longer, and I love it. If you guys would be interested, would you want a video completely designated to like my favorite kitchen appliances, my kitchen essentials, things that I use every day? Let me know in the comments below if that's a video you'd be interested in. All right, I'm gonna get the slow cooker out because those are about ready to be tossed in. Um, 
and then I'll update you guys when I'm making the sauce. Okay, so that onion is pretty translucent, pretty cooked down. I'm adding now a quarter cup of good French mustard. This will also help deglaze the rest of this pan. And then I'm also going to add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm just gonna use the same cup. Um, this is my favorite balsamic vinegar. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm almost out, but it is from Williams Sonoma. It's by the company Oliver, I believe. It's so good. I'm just gonna add that. This as well, I have it turned as low as possible. And now I'm just gonna stir till this all gets combined into like a really beautiful glaze. Well, I guess it's more of a sauce. But I'm just gonna keep whisking it together with this spoon um, until it all comes together. Oh, it smells so good. Then we're just gonna pour this on and I'm gonna let it sit in the slow cooker. That's really how easy this is. So we just got some Amazon packages delivered. I wanna attack a gardening project this weekend, so I actually got a gardening book so I can learn about it, because I don't know much about gardening. And then in here, I got some pompous grass. Oh, they're pretty. All right, I am going to arrange this pompous grass. Oh, they're pretty, they need to fluff up a little bit. And then I also got these sprigs too to go with them. And what I did is I saved some wrapping, like some old packing paper and I'm gonna try to make it work in this vase. I'm gonna just arrange, I'm not gonna record, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. All right, so far, as far as arranging, I literally just dropped them in and scattered them out of it. Um, but I'm actually really happy with it. I love the color, I love the look. Um, it's very simple, and because I took the other vases off, I needed something to fill that out a little bit more, but I'm happy with it. Also prepped the Brussels sprouts for dinner, so all I have to do is salt, pepper, olive oil, and roast them. The pork chops are going. We're in a good spot. It's definitely not my prettiest dinner, but hopefully it'll taste really good. This is mine. I just wanted some Brussels sprouts and the pork, and then that's Steven. I made him a little bit of rice to go with his. So, dinner served. Like I said, not the prettiest, but I'll report back. If it was 27, I just finished um, working out. I did LecFit tonight. Um, all of you following me on Instagram know that that's been my workout for like the last month and a half. A lot of you are asking me to go into more detail about it. I will some point this week go into detail before our workout and like explain the equipment I have, kind of the logistics of the workout, where you can find it, all of those things. But I absolutely love it. As you can see also, I'm wearing a mask. Um, it's actually become one of my favorite masks. Um, this is the third time I've bought it since December. It is by Aesop and it is the Parsley Seed Mask. It's amazing. It's just a straight up cleansing mask, but what I love about it is when you put it on, you can actually like feel it like tingling and like working your skin. I just love all of their products. I'll leave this link down below in case you're interested in that as well. Um, while this mask is going, I'm gonna set up my planner for the day. Tomorrow. This is today. I embed like my workout photo just so for accountability purposes. I'm sorry I'm talking funny. This mask is getting really tight. Um, and then this is my like journaling page. So it has like um, a task around capturing some sort of picture. So this was about joy. And then I take notes. And then I decided to copy my exact like decor. Um, to tomorrow because I liked it so much. I'm not a teal person, but I really love how like fresh it feels and light and it's not too cluttered. Um, I also love this quote and in interrupt anxiety with gratitude. And then tomorrow I'm gonna stick with the same thing around capturing joy. I thought I'd scroll back. This is a plan for outside, um, but this is my menu plan. So to, let me put my pen back on. So like this is all that I had to pick up this week for my meals and if it's highlighted in yellow it means I couldn't pick it up yet. So um, let me go to my pen, thicken this up. We did this last night, we did this today. 
uh, tomorrow is spaghetti squash bolognese. That means I need to set out some ground turkey. Um, so I need to remember to do that so it thaws. Um, for some reason, I thought tomorrow was the stuffed taco peppers. Um, but yeah, I'm all set. I just need to get this mask washed off and the turkey out to like thaw. Like I said, my challenge this week is to make a vlog every day just so we can check in and just so we can spend time together. Vlogmas style, some days we'll have nothing happening and some days we'll have exciting things happening. But I just wanna take this time to like check in on my challenge this week because I get five videos up this week, rest on the weekend and then try to do it two weeks in a row for all of you. But um, I just hope that you are all taking care of yourselves um, and staying safe and staying well and being really kind to other people uh, because I think right now we need it more than ever. More news today. That's just devastating um, and we got to figure it out and I have no doubt that we will but in the meantime take care of yourself take care of others and be kind kindness is free give to everyone until next time my sweet and beautiful friends mm -hmm.